Hi guys, good morning. It's Hope from Cedarholic Gardens and I am showing you my harvest. Well, partly mine. The cherry tomatoes are mine, but the big ones are from my girlfriend Amy. I told um didn't get can't find this video, can't get it to load. But her husband got some six free plants this end of the season back in July from our local nursery and five of them grew. So they got a surplus of tomatoes. Oh, I had to move out of the light, so you'll just hear my voice. Anyways, she gave me some of her extra tomatoes. And those gorgeous scarlet runner beans are from Paula and Alicia. Um, and this Chinese red noodle bean, I forget who gave me the seeds for that. But what I wanted to show you is, I can kind of see how they got their name. The flowers, of course, are scarlet. But this is what this bean actually looks like. And this is the coating on the outside of it. It comes like this, you crack it open, it looks like this, and then this comes off and here's the bean. So I wanted to show you guys that. But anyways, you see I got a pretty decent harvest this week. Look at my gorgeous, gorgeous turnips. And then I got a couple more yellow cryptic squash. I got a bunch again of these desis, which I'm trying for the first time today. I think I've given about 10 of these away without trying them, so I'm going to try them today. These who gave me seeds for this? I don't remember. I looked at all my seed exchange videos and I just don't remember. But this is the albino sweet pepper. It's a gorgeous light color and it is delicious. I had one this morning for breakfast and it is amazing. So I'm going to save seeds from all of these. I think this is an immature one of the same thing. There's some jalapenos in here. Something related to jalapeno, but I don't know what those are. These are cayennes, as you see. Isn't that gorgeous? And these little teeny ones are Thai hot chilies, which are too hot for us, but I have people I can give them to. Then over here, we harvested some, well, Mark pruned the tomatoes at the church, and these were all the tomato, the, um, these were all the tomatoes that came off those branches, so I'm going to use these like tomatillo and make like a green tomato salsa. These are all my we sun pruned. sugar. This guy is not from my garden. I want to be honest, this is from the store, but it was so gorgeous, I thought I'd Harvest it, cook it, and save seeds for all of us, and we can all try it this coming season together. Let's see if she breeds true. And, right. And then, I titled this The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly for a reason. Mark doesn't like to show the ugly, but gardeners know everything's not perfect. So I figured I'd show you my less than perfect ones, as you so see. these are things that have burst. These are uh, things that are tomato. scarred. Scarred or sun's called. I'm not quite sure what happened with this. Maybe we assume faceate critter. as well. No. I think it's a faceated blossom on this okay. too, just like tomato. But so a lot of these on the tomatoes is definitely worms and critters. And Seeds are still viable if looks, we see something we like. That looks like something got a hold of that. But we just wanted to show you that and this is not a product shot. This is our version of a kitchen composter without paying $25 for one. But anyways, that's what we got for today. So we're going to make a nice big salad for lunch. And as always, <laughs> I want to say to you guys, happy gardening and blessings of bounty and may your gardens always bring you joy. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.